The Senate has called on the federal government to collaborate with the United Nations and other countries to secure an immediate ceasefire in the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Additionally, they urged the federal government to advocate a two-state solution as a means to bring an end to the conflict, which has strategically resulted in the loss of thousands of lives, including women, children, and aid workers. This resolution stemmed from a motion introduced by Senator Kawu Somalia, who represents Kanu South, but was presented by Senator Adamu Alero of the PDP from Kebi. Or from Kebi. Senator Alero emphasized the alarming number of casualties in the conflict and warned that if not resolved promptly, it could escalate into a global conflict, potentially leading to World War III. Mr. President, Mr. Senators, there has been qualifying and horrendous figures of casualties from both sides. These figures include number of people that have been displaced, schools that have been destroyed, hospitals, churches, mosques that have also been destroyed from both sides. Ambulances and industrial areas have also been attacked. I do not want to go into the figures, but the figures with the president is losing. Uh, civil senators are qualified and very, very horrendous. The Senate brought a note that many international communities have condemned the ongoing conflict and that if urgent steps are not taken to address the situation, the virtue will spread to neighboring countries and then to the allies of Israel and Palestine, which will further deserve. During the debate, several other senators, including Barao Jibrin of Kanu, Enyin Naya Abaribe of Abia, and Sani Musa of Niger, voiced their condemnation of the loss of life on both sides and called for an immediate cessation of hostilities. A two state solution had been proposed and accepted. But one side said they don't want to accept, and the other side says they want to protect themselves. But the point is, the world knows that an eye for an eye will leave to everybody not having any eye at all. in conjunction with other countries and the United Nations to immediately end the conflict, ensure ceasefire, and save lives and properties of innocent women, children, and indeed humanity who have been destroyed on a daily basis. Those who support of this prayer say aye. Those who can say nay. The aye is out. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.